Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the 18th problems in chapter 2. In these problems, it tells us uh, uh, there is a car travels at a, a velocity 95 km per hour and then it wants to overtake a train. This train travels a velocity 75 km per hour and also tells us the length for this train. And then we, it tells us the car and the train moves at the same direction. Um, ask you how long does it take the car to pass and how far will the car have traveled in this time? So first thing, for an easy way to solve the problems, we, I suggest you draw a picture. So this is the road. This is the road. And then we consider there is a train and we must consider the length of the train, so we just draw it there. The length is 1.1 uh, km. And finally, it reaches the position there, so from initial position to final position. If we need to consider the displacement of this uh, train, we must consider the initial position. We consider the initial position the head at zero, agree? At the final position, the head is zero. So then this is x1 and v1, agree? And x1 we don't know yet. And v1 is 75 km per hour. At the same time, if we want to the car can just overpass this train. So at the initial position, the car is zero. At the final position, the car is zero. And there we can consider the car as a simple point. We don't consider its size. So the displacement it moved is x2. This one and the v2 is 95 km per hour. Do you agree? In this case, at the first we can see this car is at the tail of the train. At the final position, this car is at the head of the train. Just overpass it. So from this picture, it is really easy to find the relationship L plus x1 equals x2, agree? There we must consider the length for this train. So L plus x1 equal to x2. So now let's see how we solve the problems. There we must convert the unit, IS unit in the, uh, the unit kilometer per hour to meter per second. So first of all, the length for the car is 1,100 meter. And V1, we convert it to meter per second. V2, we convert, convert it to meter per second. And X1, because this uh, train moves at a constant velocity, so X1 equal to V1 times T. And uh, the car also moves at a constant velocity, X2 equal to V2 times T. So then we can consider this relationship, X1 plus L equal to X2, agree? And then we can make the x1 vt inside, x2 vt inside, look like this one. And there we can see v1 lower, v2 lower, l lower, so we can solve the t very easy. And we find t is 220 second. And t is 220 second, so we answer this question, how far does it take the car to pass it? The second one, how far will the car have traveled in this time? So how far the car has traveled, ask us about x2, agree? x2 is v2 times t, so we put it inside, then we find the answer. Easy. Then the next question asks you, what are the results if the car and the train are, travel, are traveling in the opposite direction? So still we can draw a picture, look like that there is still the road. And then we can say this is a train, initial position, it is there. The final position, it is there. That's fine? Yes. And then we find the displacement, it moved, is from the head to the head. Agree? So this is x1. And v1 is given. And then the second problem, is, uh, the second one we consider is the, what, the car. So initial position, it is still there, and then it want to just overpass the train. So at the final position, it must be there. 
Agree? So this one, this one matches with the, the end. This one matches with the initial. It is at head. Final, it has a tail. So this one is X2. And we can consider this is the total length for the train. This is X1. This is X2. What's the relationship for this one? x1 plus x2 must equal to L. Agree? Yes. So similarly, we solve the problems. We convert the unit in the IS unit. L equals to 1,100 meter. V1 is 21 meter per second. And then V2 is 26 meter per second. Therefore, we can write the equations. x1 equal to V1 times T because the train and the car are moving at a constant speed. So V1, V2 are constant. Then we can write the equation x1 plus x2 equal to L input is x1 and x2. Then we can solve the time t, just 23 seconds. And x2 is just 609 meters. That's all. Thank you.